So in this episode, we're going to talk about how to create a footer. And I do realize we don't have as much stuff inside the section yet as we might want to have, but I think it's a good idea we get started on the footer and just kind of finish it off in this episode. So we have our footer down here at the bottom of our index.html, and we did actually already create the tags for it in one of the first episodes, I believe. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the style sheet, and then we're going to go ahead and style the footer tags. So at the very bottom, we're going to go ahead and say, actually, let's go ahead and make a comment really quick because I would like for us to actually see where the footer starts. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a bit of text here. Then I'm going to write footer in here. So now we know that everything related to the footer start, uh, starts below here. So down here, we can actually start creating the tag for the footer. We're going to open up the code and then we can give it a width. So let's go ahead and give it a width as a hundred percent because we want it to be responsive. Then we're going to go ahead and give it a background color as hashtag 222, which is a dark gray color. And we're not going to give it a height, but we'll get, we're going to give it something else instead, which is a padding. So we're going to go ahead and say padding. And then we're going to say 60 pixels from the top and bottom. And we're going to say zero pixels from left and right. So now if I were to go and refresh my browser, what you'll notice is that we do actually get some footer down here. Now, the cool thing about using a padding is that it actually takes it from where the content starts and finishes, and then it builds the padding around that, meaning that right now, if I were to put content inside my website, right now it doesn't have a height yet. Uh, even though we do see some background here, the, the footer does not have a height. But because of the padding, it adds an additional 60 pixels on each side to the height. So right now it's zero pixels height, plus 60 plus 60, which means that we have this much. That also means that if we start putting content inside the footer, it'll actually gonna, it's actually gonna start from the middle and not from the top of it, which is kind of nice. So what we're gonna do in here is we're gonna go inside our index.html, we're gonna, gonna go inside the footer, and then we're gonna put in a wrapper because we do actually need a wrapper. I do think it's important, and we do actually need to write class wrapper if I can spell it correctly, like so. And inside this wrapper, we're gonna go ahead and put another uh, menu. So we're gonna go up to our menu. We're just gonna kinda copy it. So I'm just gonna copy my, let's just go ahead and copy the UL tags and put it in here, like so. Just gonna go ahead and move everything down. Now the cool thing about this software is that you can actually hold down the control button and keep clicking. And then it's gonna put up a typing symbol, all the different places you just clicked, and then you can just kind of type everything at once. Just, just, a, just a really nice thing for you guys if you're using this program. So now that we have this menu in here, we can actually go ahead and save it and refresh the browser. And what you'll notice is that we get a menu down here. Now, you might be asking, why isn't it styled yet? And that's because we don't have the nav tags inside of here. So maybe we should have included the nav tags. So let's just go ahead and do that really quick, like so. Make sure we close it around the UL, like so. And just go ahead and move it up a little bit. So now that I saved it, you'll actually notice that we get some styling going down here. Now, what we need to do is, first of all, as you can see, our navigation actually goes below our footer, which is because we already do have a styling for this specific code because we just simply copied the whole navigation up here. And right now the navigation has a margin from the top, meaning that it will push down below the footer. So we need to add a specific styling to this nav, which is similar to this styling up here, but not the same. So going into our style sheet, what we can do is we can go up to our navigation we have up at the very top. And then we can say, okay, well, we do have a nav tag, but we want it to be the nav tag inside the header. So I'm just gonna go ahead and write header behind the nav tags. So we have, okay, so we have a navigation inside the header, which should do this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that the same place here. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy. You guys should do the same thing. And now that our entire navigation at the very top has the header in front of it, you guys will notice that the bottom styling has disappeared. So you might be asking, well, why should we then put the nav tags around it? Well, if you just go ahead and copy the entire navigation from the top, go down to the footer, 
like so. Paste it in here and then replace header with footer. We then get this specific styling for the footer only. Like so. Now, we do actually have the styling for the footer now. If I actually go refresh, I can show you guys that right now we do have it styled again, but now we can change the specific styling for the footer, meaning that now I can actually go ahead and remove my margin. So now the text is gonna be up here. Now I would also like for the text color to change into white. So then where we have our color, which should be right Oh, we, do, we don't actually have a color anywhere. So we should actually go down to our A tag, go in and say color, colon, and set it to hashtag FFF, which is the color code for white. If I refresh, we get a white navigation. Now, typically when I see a navigation at the bottom, it's most of the time a little bit smaller than the top navigation. So we're gonna go ahead and give this one a font size as maybe 10. And then we're going to go ahead and give it a uh, floating to the left side instead of the right side. So that way we have the footer nav, we're going to say left. I'm going to refresh the browser and you guys will notice that it moves over here. So when it comes to creating this navigation, we could essentially also just put them underneath each other. We don't have to put them next to each other. But since we don't have as much content on our website so far, I don't see a lot of stuff we can put inside the footer, so let's just go ahead and keep this for now. Now, we do actually have a footer, and we might be including some other stuff in the footer at some later point, maybe the name of the person who made the website, or maybe some contact info, which could be in a, what do you call it, in a list over here on the right side. But for now, I think this is good. Okay, so now we finished the footer, and what I would like to do in the next episode is talk about creating a new section inside our section of the website, which means that it's gonna go in between the footer and this piece of text we have up here, at least this whole box that's here. So we're gonna have another section underneath it, which is gonna be the new section. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.